This is a <clears throat> little discussion on beta blockers, and uh, mostly it just has some silly mnemonics to help you remember some random facts about them. First of all, this is the chart that we're going to be extracting information from. These are the different beta, block beta blockers, and uh, about half of them are, are beta-1 selective. Only one of them is not water-soluble. Um, Although there's two other ones that are not very water soluble, and um, that's pro propranolol is not water soluble at all, and carvedilol and labetalol are both not very water soluble, and uh, I do not yet know what ISA or MSA stand for, so I put the include that information here, but I have not not yet learned that. I apologize. Um, it's also going to talk about how beta selective something is. So, for example, nebe nebevilol is 60 times more beta-1 selective than it is beta-2. So um, the ones that are just blank there, about half of them, uh, those ones are, I guess they're you know, pretty equal between beta-1 and beta-2. They just get both of them. Okay, first of all, we have uh, a sabutol. I don't know how to say that, but the way that I have this is ace butylol. And so uh, here we have an ace fish, or an ace card with a um, with a beta fish shield for a beta blocker and there's three of them and the three stands for it is three to one times more beta one selective than it is beta two so there you have it it's also three plus water soluble also you can help remember with the three and then this one also is uh, ISA plus two and or two plus and MSA two plus and I do not yet know what that means, but it's only only one of like three or four that are this way. So uh, next we have a tenolol. So for a tenolol, I kind of thought a ten kind of sounded like a tension. So I drew, I, I mean, I chose a picture here of a soldier standing in a tension, and he has a beta fish uh, shield on his shirt. Um, soldiers protect people, so there it is. There's this beta fish shield. And this helps remember that this is a beta blocker. Also, a lot of olols are beta blockers. <clears throat> and this is 5 to 1, more beta 1 selective than beta 2. And so uh, he's, he's in attention with his hand up there. And people have five fingers on their hand, usually. And so the 5 there will help you remember that this is 5 to 1, more beta selective. Next, we have betaxolol. And this kind of looks like beta or beta tax. Um, so here this is the taxes with the beta fish there on the shield, and this is 7 to 1. So you think, well, there's no taxes in heaven, so heaven kind of sounds like 7. I don't know, maybe that'll help you remember that this is 7 to 1, um, more beta 1 selective than beta 2 selective. Next we have bisoprolol, which biso kind of sounds like bison to me. So here we have this bison with a beta blocker on him. And we know that Native Americans used to hunt the bison. And so this is a Native American with a headdress. And I'm just going to pretend that there are 14 feathers on his headdress. I didn't count them, but I'm just going to pretend there's 14 feathers on there for the sake of it being 14 to 1 times uh, more, a 14 to 1 ratio of more beta 1 selective. It's also 3 plus water soluble. Now we have carvedilol. So here is a car. It's a blue car, B for beta. And uh, to help you remember that it is a. Um, or blue, excuse me, blue for B for beta, so I chose a blue car, and uh, <clears throat> it is not beta 1 selective. So think of this as one of those loner cars that anybody can drive, um, so it's not selective, anybody can drive it, not beta 1 selective. And it's, this is one of the only two that is only plus one water soluble, and just think that, you know, you don't usually want to take cars in water. Uh, now we have labetalol, and labe kind of sounded like Labrador, so... Here is a Labrador, black lab, and it's got a fish shield on it. Yeah. And uh, it is one plus water soluble. And you think, the, you know, dogs are not uh, aquatic animals because this is only, there's only two of these one plus ones that are water soluble. It's also MSA 2 plus. Again, I don't know what that means. Apologize. Um, and this is not beta 1 selective. So this dog will love anyone. You know, dogs will take, you know, for, you have their owners, any, anybody can come be a dog owner. So this dog's not selective, it'll, it'll have anybody. So next, metropolol, met, metoprolol. So meto kind of sounds like metro to me. So this 
is um, a Metro with a beta shield on it, beta fish shield on it. And this is a two to one beta selective. And just think it costs two bucks to ride the Metro. I don't really know what that could cost, but we're just gonna say for the sake of this, that it costs two dollars to ride the Metro and it's also two plus water soluble. So two dollars, two plus water soluble to ride the Metro. And if you wanna go two somewhere, you're gonna ride the Metro. Next we have Nebivalol. Uh, Neb Nebiv kind of sound like nebulous to me. So this is a nebulous, and this nebulous, if you really squint hard and use your imagination, kind of looks like two beta fish kissing. So maybe you can help remember that nebulous looks like, a big nebulous looks like two beta fish kissing. I'll help you remember that it's beta uh, blocker. And this one is also nebulous, is like, think of like a really big nebulous. This is 60, uh, 60 to 1, more beta 1 selective. So this is extremely way, way, way more beta selective than all the other ones. It's really big, right? So I don't know, I think there's 60 billion stars in this nebulous. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Um, it's also four plus water soluble. So this one's unique. It's definitely by far the most, um, the most of the beta one blocker as opposed to beta two. So that, that's a very unique property with it. Um, uh, now we have uh, na Nadalol. So Nad, kind of make me think of Nad. So I think of somebody getting kicked in the gonads, kicked in the nads. Uh, so na uh, Nadalol is a beta blocker. So this is a kid holding a beta fish shield who is kicking someone in the nads. Um, it is not beta one selective. So this kid is a little punk. He'll kick anybody in the nads. He isn't selective about it. So it's not beta one selective. And it's four plus water soluble. Now we have pen butylol. So that kind of sounds like pen bottle to me. So pen butylol is a beta blocker. So you got the pen bottle with a beta fish on it. Uh, it's not selective. Anybody can pick up this pen and use it. It's not a selective pen. Uh, three plus water soluble and ISA three. I probably should have put a three somewhere on there. Oops. Um, Pindalol. So Pindalol kind of sounds like pin needle. So this is a pin needle holding in this picture of the beta fish, and it's a beta blocker. So it's um, you know got the beta fish on there, and uh, it's not beta one selective. So this pin pins you can stick anything to the wall. So I guess it's a way of thinking of that. So this pin is not selective. You can stick anything to the wall with a pin, so it's not selective. It's four plus ISA and two plus I. Oh, that's supposed to be MSA. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's supposed to be four plus MSA, two plus ISA. So that first number right there, this one, um, not that one. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So um, now we have propranolol. Kind of propran kind of sounds like propane. So propanolol is a beta blocker, propane tank with a beta fish shield on it. It is not beta one selective. So you just think, hey, you can burn anything with with uh, propane because it's not selective. You can burn anything, not selective. So it's also not water soluble. So this is the only one. I stopped putting the thing down there on accident. This is the only one. If you notice down there, propanolol is not water. It's the only one that's not water soluble at all. Okay, uh, that might be important since it's the most unique one on the whole chart. So propanolol not water soluble. So I even put a little uh, water with a circle and an X through it to show that it's not water soluble. And this is also MSA uh, three plus. Now lastly, we have uh, timolol. So Tim, maybe think of Tiny Tim from A Christmas Carol. Uh, this is also a beta blocker. I put the little thing on his hat. <clears throat> I even turned it sideways. <laughs> so uh, this is also not beta one selective. And that made me think, you know, Tiny Tim, he loved everybody. He even loved Mr. Scrooge, uh, even though he was really mean. So Tiny Tim is not selective. And that is the end.